So my big question is, and I'm watching whether we will see from the WeChats of the world and other super apps, even super apps in Latin America. I think they have a first chance at the bat because already context is built into their business model. Yes. yes. Okay, so I'll put you an example. In, in Latin America, I, I would say there are two super apps, which is Rappi, Rappi yeah. founded by Colombians, extended across Latin America, it's Brazil, Mexico, and other, other countries, and iFoods, okay, which is now, if I recall, iFoods is now part of Prosus, okay, which is... Uh, iFoods, it, it, it started as a food... Like Rappi, like Rappi, but, but Rappi did something very interesting. It did two things. One, it would send you money home. So it's basically like a cash machine. That was powerful. Number two, it did errands for you. Can you bring me something from the pharmacy? Can you go and print this thing? And people got accustomed to that. So they have a lot of context. They built- So, so it was a, fi a fi hybrid already assistant They're running errands. Yes, exactly. A guy in a bicycle or in a motorbike across yeah. your city. So they have a first hand view of what you like, what you consume, a lot of context. But Effie, people trust them because they've helped them in their lives. I mean, they are in a way, they're a first view into what an agent is without the agentic capabilities AI brings.